This is the story of a working mom who studied programming, then decided she might try teaching herself to make chocolates. Hi there, I'm Stefani, and I'm the executive chocolatier here at Jack Rabbit Chocolate Studio. Welcome to our lab. We're artisanal chocolatiers, creating chocolate art from high quality ingredients. We try to make unique pieces of art that are edible and beautiful. Everything that we do from bars to bonbons and our chocolate coated products is always a new chocolate experience. I love everything about chocolate. I love the way that it smells, the way that it tastes, the way that it makes you feel when you eat it, when you receive it, when you give it as a gift, when you work with it, how it's so technically challenging. It's like a teenager that it has a mind of its own and that you think that you know everything about chocolate, but you don't. There's just lots of influences that can change the way that you are going to have to work with the chocolate on that day. If it's too humid, if it's too hot, if it's too cold, if the air is too dry, if you warmed it up too quickly, if you warmed it up too slowly, if you worked with it too slowly. It has so much to give as a compound that it, I feel like I'm constantly learning and I'm constantly getting challenged. And I love that challenge of working with something that's so dynamic and delicious. And regardless of how beautiful or how ugly it looks in the end of the day, it's still an incredible product to eat and to enjoy. And I think that's what I really love about chocolate. When people began to Google Stefani's brand and arrive at her house asking for chocolate, it was time for a shock. Now, in less than three years, these handmade masterpieces in their edible paintwork have won gold in Budapest and silver at the International Chocolate Awards in London. I think in patisserie and chocolate work specifically, it's very easy to try and copy international pastry chefs in their style and their flavors. I think in South Africa, everyone has the idea that using French chocolate or using French ingredients and doing things that French chefs are doing or international chefs are doing is the best thing to do. And I think that in that we lose our identity. And so we try and use some of the South African flavors or South African knives, some of our chocolates, so that it is still local, it's still us. We can use imported ingredients and we can use influence from overseas that we still maintain our South Africanness in that. So we have done some really wonderful chocolate bars using msombo, so that's the African nightshade. Um, we enjoy using rooibos in our chocolate production. And of course, we have our milk tart chocolate. So when we are making our bonbons, they are all each hand painted and handmade. Each chocolate has between four to eight different colors on each of them. And each step of the process is done by us here by hand and each one is like a little blank canvas and we have the opportunity to hand paint each one and although they share the same theme, each one is completely unique. So while Lucia's busy applying her first layer of color onto her molds, we're going to do a similar thing into our bonbon molds. So we're gonna start with splatting our molds and this is the first step that we do. A lot of people think that it's actually our last step and that we paint afterwards, but we actually paint first. And so we've got our first layer of color that we're going to be doing. We've got our cocoa butter that's ready to go and we're just using a paintbrush and all we're going to be doing is splatting some color into the mold. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do quite a free natural swish inside the mold with our color and we can just turn it around and then we can see the effect so far. So once you've finished painting all of your chocolate molds and you're ready to proceed, the next step is tempering, which is what Christy's starting to do over here. So her temperature of the chocolate that's in the bowl is at T1, which is our highest temperature. So we use this motion where we spread it out onto the table and we bring it back together so that we can cool it rapidly all at the same time so that we don't have some patches that are over tempered and some that are under tempered because we don't want uneven crystallization of the chocolate. So chocolate has a lot of ups and downs as well. It's not the perfect thing that everybody just imagines working with chocolate. It is very physical. 
It is a lot of working, it's a lot of standing, it's a lot of moving around. So it basically is CrossFit in a kitchen. Just a little sneak peek for a new product that we've got is in partnership with Pavoni Italia as their brand ambassador. They've sent us this adorable little shoe mold. And then what we've done is we've just spiced it up with some Jackrabbit style. Thank you Insider SA for spending the day with us. I hope that you indulge in your sweet tooth today. As bold in spirit as her chocolates are in flavor, Stefani's currently exporting to Japan. And if all goes to plan, they will be listed in Harrods within a year. Get more of the Insider SA online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider SA. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.